Hello and welcome to this medic healing guide. My name is Romis and I play a medic in the guild Grimwolves on Sur EU. Now this is not a perfect guide since I am by no means an expert at medic healing. Um, but I have been healing on a medic in the past month or so. Uh, basically ever since I started playing Wildstar. And I feel I have a good understanding about the class. Um, so I can start with my build. Uh, of course, nothing in Assault, because you're basically not doing any damage. Well, duh. Uh, in Support, this is where it can, gets interesting. Uh, on Emissions, I have Tier 8 Emissions. Basically because um, um, it's the, the, the heal I use the most. And um, when you get low enough on Focus, this, um, this cast will be completely free. If you see right now, I use some focus on it, but it's it's basically nothing, um, and it does heal, heal for quite a bit. After that, I have tier four mending probes. Um, this is just to get the um, the major upgrade, as you can see there. Landing on a heal with triage, which I don't use, use or flash detonates your probes, restoring 35% of the probe's potential healing and consume, consuming the probe. Um, so I use this together with the uh, flash. And I use the tier 4 because of the bonus. Each tick of emission reduces the cooldown of flash by one second. Other than that, I use uh, shield surge, which is at tier, tier 4 plus 1. Um, basically just because uh, medics are the only class in the game that can restore shield and this spell is quite amazing. You can also line this up with uh, actually hitting the boss or the mobs as well and it does quite a lot of damage even though it's um, basically you use it to uh, regain shields on your allies. Other than that I don't use rejuvenate. Um, I use Excritate in some fights, very limited. The only fight I can remember using it on is the Flame Boss in Sword Maiden. Um, can't remember the name from the top of my head right now, but um, yeah, it's useful in that uh, in that sense. So other than that, I do not use protection probes. I know a lot of medics use that, but I haven't really gotten around to testing it yet, so I can't really give you an honest review on that ability. Um, other than that, I use urgency with tier 1. Um, I don't use tier 4 because I use my calm for a CC break. Now, if there is a fight where... Uh, I'm switching out Calm for another thing, for example Antidote or a Stun, perhaps. Depending on what the DPS I run with, I will basically pump this up to tier 4, so that my urgency will CC break while still uh, maintaining the other spells. So the spell I um, mostly switch out, most often, is this one, Recharge. Um, it's basically a focus re regain ability. Um, I either switch that out with antidote, field probes, or uh, paralytic surge, depending on the fight. So um, you need to know all the fights so you can switch out your um, your abilities on the go to make it flexible and um, you know good uh, for the fights you're doing. So you, for example, don't have an extra CC break on a fight where you don't need to CC break, where you can, for example, let's say go for dual shock instead, or or barrier is also a really good um, single tar target ability, or field probes if you if there is massive damage to to um, all the players in the in the fight basically. Um, I use Empowering Probes because it, it gives 10% damage increase for 10 seconds to my allies. Um, which is a really great ability to have, of course. Uh, but moving on to my gear, I have pretty good stats right now. Um, but all of this gear is very easy to, uh, to get a hold of, basically. You, <clears throat> you don't need a lot of game time to get this gear, if you're being completely honest. 
Um, this is all dungeon or adventure or crafted gear. Um, so there is no raid gear here. Uh, my weapon is an Adventus CW-3 Hurricane 4 Charger. It has high su uh, support power, high insight. Um, it can go up to 4 rune slots. Um, but I haven't met a crafter on my realm that can craft one, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but it's good. And the focus recovery rate is great as well. Um, this energy shield is the best in slot. It has four rune slots, which is amazing. Hmm, excuse me. And it has high insight and high focus recovery. Uh, and you can see that pattern going over and over again with my gear. It's basically insight and focus recovery. Moving on to my helmet. It's an MA-1H Comet Capuchin. It has 125 insight, which is the maximum you can have on crafted helm helms. And I believe they go up to 4 inside, but then you need to craft uh, the tier 4 or tier 3 helm. Um, same one on my uh, shoulders, 125 inside. I think it can go up to 4 room slots if you have tier 3 or tier 4. So Same thing as the, sh the head, basically. Um, my Warden's Lithe Tech Custom Dust Goat, 125 inside, 3 room slots. My uh, Thunderclap arm armbands. I don't remember where I got these, but they were from a dungeon. I know that for a fact. They have four rune slots, and uh, <clears throat> the inside is really great. And of course, base health al always helps. So, uh, moving on to my pants. As you can see, the uh, the runes on this isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. It's actually a tanking. Um, uh, tanking for Stalker, so it, they're tanking legs, but they had 110 insight plus three rune slots, so I took them off my uh, Stalker tank friend. Well, he needed it for offspec anyway, so it's not normal. Moving on to my feet, 95 insight, two water slots here. Um, I think they can go up to four rune slots as well. And my Flamekin target link. Now this is a pretty bad one. It is best in slot. Um, it can it can drop off the first boss in Skullcano, and I will do a um, basically a boss um, guide on that. How you can farm that efficiently because this is the best in slot uh, weapon attachment for medic healers, probably for the other healers as well. Now this can go up to 4 slots, and of course if you have 4 perfect rune slots on this, it's extremely good. Uh, now Thundering Quill, this is also the best in slot. I don't know if they can go up to 4 rune slots. I'm unsure if they can. Well actually they're not um, best in slot pre-raid. Um, I can actually go and show you what is. And then I have the Charmed, Charmed Mojo Magic, It's uh, it comes from a quest in uh, the Northern Wastes, one of the daily zones. So it's really easy to get and it's really good because it has a rune slot, it has insight and increases your support power. Um, and then of course my Genesis key. And then my imp implant, 65 insight, 65 critical hit severity rating and 2 rune slots. I haven't really seen anything better than this drop, so I'm not sure if this is the best in slot. With this I have uh, 1584 insight, um, unbuffed, and on my secondary stats I have 22.87 critical hit chance. Now the perfect um, point basically where you want your critical hit chance to be at is 30%, but I don't have that on my gear, but that's what you want to aim, aim for because that's a soft gap. Um, and critical hit severity is at 168% right now. Um, I don't think this is really good, but it hasn't really given me any problem. And I have 3.01 focus recovery. Um, this is basically the, the focus recovery rate you want to aim for. 
And then on my set bonuses, I have focus regen, 6 out of 12, and team player, 10 out of 12. Um, and that's the two rune sets I use to increase my focus, increase my insight, and all that good stuff. So, moving on to the, uh, was, what was it? the support system that I wanted to show you. So it's at Veteran Accessories, and it's this. Battle Sphere Adapter. As you can see, it gives me more focus recovery rate, more insight, and it goes up to 4 rune slots. So, this is not 10 folds better, but it is better. Um, I recently bought this today, and I got 2 runes, so I immediately salvage it, because it's useless. But, uh, that's really, really good. Um, and obviously, you get one one each week because you get 140 elder gems per week. Um, that's basically it for the build and the gear. Uh, moving on to amps. I basically use a build that is completely my own. I don't follow any guides. I just do what I feel is right. And it has been working really good for me up until this point. Um, I have three points in the focus recovery. 3 points into support power and uh, 3 points into focus um, well it reduces the cost of all the focus spells which is all your spells uh, I re use reboot using shield surge or barrier on an ally with shields below 30% restores shield in addition to their normal shield healing so basically every time you use sh shield <laughs> Shield Surge. On a target that has less than 30% shield, it um, gives them more shield. And I use Armor Coating, landing a critical heal on an ally, grants a defense for 6 seconds. Basically meaning they increase their armor by 8.9% of the current maximum. And I use Hypercharge, using Energize restores 5,482 shields to 5 allies within 50 minutes. 15 meters. Now, this is so important. Um, this is your Energize. It has a 30 second cooldown. And every time you use it, you restore a lot of shield to everybody that stands next to you, basically. So, in every single healing build, you should get this. No question about it. Moving on to the hybrid support and utility. I have maximum shield capacity just for some survival and I use attrition while remaining in combat for 112 20 seconds you restore 20 focus every one second for 10 seconds this will continue to apply every 120 seconds you remain in combat which means it's very good for boss fights not so much with dungeon fights but more so for uh, for raids so you could arguably switch this out for something else because it does Past four wins. Uh, I mean power. And I have armor pierce for some reason. Um, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make any difference what I choose here. But I have this, it's called Empowering Aura. Grants an empower to yourself and party members within 10 meters. This basically increases their critical hit chance by 6% for every person standing in within 10 meters of yourself. Which of course is a really big increase on the uh, on the DPS. And then I have critical hit chance. Um, and then scalpel, 4 steps. Landing a heal grants 1 stack of scalpel. R landing... Uh, yeah, you can have 5 stacks of both combined. And they give you an power for 5 seconds, which basically increases your support power by 3% of your current maximum, which means more healing. And I have this increases critical hit severity with, uh, with the last point. So that's my current build. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I'll be uh, showing you more in depth when we get into, you know, actual combat and, you know, things like that. So that will be in the next part. And I might do a guide on uh, the add-ons I use and everything like that. 
that so that's basically it for uh, this video uh, if you enjoyed it then please thumbs up like comment subscribe all that bullshit also follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash romis0066 so twitch.tv slash romis006 um, that's not the James Bond reference by the way just so you know um, and yeah that's basically it thank you so much for uh, watching the guide I hope you learned something and if you didn't then make sure to tell me so I can correct it in the next video and if you have any questions um, regarding the build or anything just leave them in the comment below and thank you so much for watching have a good one.